One a Day Dick Weber Open is brought to you by Lumber Liquidator, hardwood flooring for less. By Atonic, visit www.atonic.com slash bowl. By GoRV, visit GoRV.com for a free video. Go affordably, GoRV. And by One a Day Men's 50 Plus Advantage, the multivitamins with more of what matters. Time now for the title match of the One a Day Dick Weber Open, the 70th PBA event held here in Southern California. Rob Stone, Randy Peterson, and our special guest this week, the sports guy, Bill Simmons. Rob, did you take your One a Day vitamin today? I actually do. I travel okay, with good. it, but I don't do the 50 and over version. That's for Walter Ray. <laughs> Walter Ray, the two seed, will start us off in his title match versus Michael Fagan. Walter Ray, one win away from tour title number 47. Oh. Right down the middle. Oh, don't throw it like that. <laughs> don't do that. He had all that momentum with that 234-178 victory. And it can evaporate that quickly. Randy's gotten very serious on us. It's a title match. Yeah. It's, it's a title match. Got my game face on. Right. He buckles down. There, there for Walter Ray, and now time to meet his competitor. One tour title, he is making his third TV appearance of the season. He is a member of Team USA 2010 from Patchogue, New York, the King of Swing, Mike Fagan. Yeah. Michael Fagan finished second here last season, falling to Norm Duke. Great start for Fagan as we take a look at our bear breakdown. Michael Fagan has won one tour title, but that came in a doubles event, so he's still seeking his first career singles tour title on his 10th TV singles broadcast. A huge discrepancy between these two and everything. <laughs> Age, earnings, titles, TV finals. Well, you got Bill Simmons money on the left, right, <laughs> and Rob Stone money on the right. I mean, there's that's a... that's you and me combined on the right. <laughs> back to back opening jacks for yeah, Fagan. You know, and, and if anybody can play the inside line and make it look good, Michael Fagan can. And again, it, a lot of it has to do with that loft, that rotation, that power. We haven't seen anybody yet today make the inside part of the lane look good. Walter Ray's had the highest game today, playing that straight, high, hard one right up the second arrow. Very good, come on. A wobbly 10 will not drop. Well, I gotta tell you, Rob, I've got a feeling that Michael Fagan's gonna give Walter Ray all he wants in this match. I think, I think Michael Fagan is poised and is ready and feels that it's his time to win. I think I've switched. I'm rooting for him because of the beard. I've, I'm, out, I'm off Walter. you got to like his form, too. I mean, it's yeah. a very unique, Gumby-like, loose arm swing. It's definitely one of those that, if you don't bowl professionally for a living, when you watch, you, you're like, how do they do that? Yeah, absolutely. I, when I watch, well, I'll tell you what. When I, when I watch Walter A. Williams Jr., if I were to walk in a bowling center and didn't know who this guy was, just by watching him throw it, I'd walk up to him and go, hey, you want to bowl me for some money? Mm. He's got that kind of plain style. But then he, all he's going to do is that all day and just take your cash. And people don't realize that Randy actually does that. He walks into bowling <laughs> centers and asks people to on a bowl for money. Yeah. On a daily basis. Ninth consecutive PBA stop here in Fountain Valley. Our thanks to the co-proprietors here at Fountain Bowl. Gary Foreman and Dave Osborne. Always put on a good show here in this house. Two of the best proprietors in the country right there. Fagan opens up with a three-bagger, and Bill, you talked about the beard, and he said, you guys aren't going to comment about my playoff beard yesterday? He said, last week he was second after qualifying at the TOC, went back, shaved. Things kind of caved in at that point. Uh, last week, I was second after qualifying the Rhino in, in the tournament champions, and uh, went back to the room and had a shave, you know, looked good for the finals, and then everything went downhill. So I said, this week, after I qualified first, I said, I'm not shaving. And uh, I just left it. So try to get, you know, a little luck from here, maybe. A little playoff beard. 
Tempo! And he bowled as they were rolling video of him, which I was impressed by. Walter couldn't do that. Remember, he had to back off that last time. Right now, Michael Fagan's in his wheelhouse playing the deep inside line and bringing the heat. He likes it when he can be aggressive. We've right seen, now, he's got a great look. We've seen Fagan on TV have some confidence issues, Randy, and he looks extremely comfortable where he is right now. Alton, baby, Alton. Spare, spare, now strike, strike for Walter Ray. And one of the greatest equalizers in our sport, in our sport going up in a head-to-head -head match is applying pressure to your opponent, and that's how you do it. One more strike right here. Walter Ray's only trailing by 11, and he puts a little bit of a little bit of Walter Ray in Mike Fagan's head. You know, hey, I'm not going anywhere. You better keep striking. It's on. Are you shifting your allegiances again? Randy's getting sweaty. <laughs> he likes this. Yeah, this, this is good stuff. Title match. Arguably the greatest player to ever live right there. Taking on one of the biggest up-and-coming names on our tour. Michael Fagan still looking for his first ever career singles title. He's perfect through four frames. Three times a singles runner-up. It's Fagan. That one right of target, but... A good conclusion for him. Well, I'm not going to see a 300 today. No, we're not. <laughs> you'll, have to, you'll have to join us for another week. Yeah, we're going to have to bring you back. I had my hopes up. And this is a really good break. This one's going to be wide of target, but only leaving the two and not the 210 or 24810 combination. Takes care of the first spare conversion of the day, does Fagan. We're going to fire up the RV next week. And we'll begin to be in the uh, New Orleans area for the Chris Paul PBA Celebrity Invitational. You can see that one at 2 Eastern next Sunday over on ESPN. Good start to your Super Bowl Sunday. And then the following weekend, we are in Reno, the third major of the season. The USBC Masters coming your way live from the National Bowling Stadium. Coverage of that one. 3 Eastern. Now Fagan with that great start, dropping an opening four-bagger now. Finding some issues getting to the pocket. It's just getting way too aggressive. You got the, the adrenaline started to go. He got a, way too pumped up, and now he's just throwing it. He's got to just kind of calm down, take a deep breath, back that speed down just a little bit. But you know what? One of the things I was thinking about was if the three of us were, were to be in an RV, the way I see it playing out is you drive, Bill does the cooking, I kick back, watch TV. What do you think? <laughs> Bill's cooking is, you know, a telephone. I, it's in my contract. I don't have to ride in nervous. You don't, you don't slum it with the, the Mike Breens of the world? <laughs> I got to say that Walter's two strikes. I feel like Fagan had all the momentum. And Walter's like, hey, by the way, I'm Walter Way Williams Jr. Watches two strikes. Yep. Kind of rattled Fagan a little bit. Yeah, he, he, again, just... Uh, he does that regularly. Two very aggressive shots. Walter Ray right now can take the lead. Took a little bit. Took a lot. Dang it, don't do that. And just shy of a four-bagger there for Williams. Randy, how hard is it not to swear when you're on, the, on these TV matches? Well, you, you know, it's kind of a mindset that you have when you're, when you're on television because you know that you have friends and family watching, and so you try to clean it up. Uh, there's a lot of swearing going on during qualifying and match play that, that you don't see. So uh, I don't think it's any different than any other sport, but... I think that for the most part, the guys out here are gentlemen, and they try to clean it up a bit. Um, unfortunately, every now and then, you, you know, you, you have a, a little slip up. I know me personally, I never cursed on television. It would probably be my biggest downfall as a, ball, as a bowler. I think I would swear constantly, probably get kicked out. You'd be fined a lot. Strike in the seventh for WRWJ. Let's see how Fagan handles this pressure. Walter Ray with some high praise for his opponent today. 